Hi, I'm John Dixon, a trainer in scientific writing, and here's a bite that I hope may help you with your writing. Introducing a list with a colon. I don't need to remind most writers that a colon can introduce a list, both run-in and vertical lists. However, how should we construct the introductory statement before the colon? Generally, if a colon is used, the introductory statement should form a grammatically complete clause. So, in this example for a run-in list, they studied three related conditions, colon, asthma, eczema, and hay fever. The introductory statement, they studied three related conditions, forms a grammatically complete clause before the colon. For a vertical list, the same principle can, but doesn't always apply, and we'll discuss this later. But here, they recommended three investigations is followed by a colon, used correctly, and then a vertical list. For a running list, a colon should not break a continuing statement. For instance, separate a verb from its object or a preposition from its complement. So it's incorrect to use a colon in the sentence, they studied asthma, eczema and hay fever. Similarly, it's incorrect to use a colon in the sentence, the study was limited by poor compliance, intolerable side effects, and insufficient recruitment of male participants. Adding a phrase such as the following tells the reader a list is coming and a colon can then be used. The following then becomes the object or complement of the verb or preposition. And then the introductory statement becomes a grammatically complete sentence. So taking the first incorrect example above, this sentence could correctly become, they studied the following, colon, asthma, eczema, and hay fever. For introducing a vertical list, the situation is a little more controversial regarding the use of a colon if this interrupts what would be continuous statements. Take this vertical list. The introductory statement, after the meeting, the editorial team agreed that, is not a grammatically complete clause. But each element of the list does run on naturally from this introductory statement and completes a sentence. So after the meeting, the editorial team agreed that the readability of the manuscript was excellent, is a complete sentence. Guides that adhere to the rule of not breaking continuing statements would therefore omit a colon as illustrated here. However, some do accept the colon. So, as in all good writing, and in this case, it's important to be consistent and follow a star guide. Here are some star guides that I found useful. Well, I hope that's useful. For more bites, visit Network Pharma TV.